So this Kia EV9 is packed with interesting technology. But for me, there's one standout point, and that's that you can fuel it for free. So forget the looks and the clever cameras and the fact that the seats will massage your bottom if you ask them nicely. So the interesting part is that you'll be able to charge this Kia EV9 at home for free. In fact, the energy company might even pay you to charge it. And it's not a limited offer, it's forever. And you'll be helping the planet too. Now, I'll tell you more after the electrifying swishy thing comes down. And we're free as well. And we like helping the planet. But I'm not going to massage your bottom. Now, this seems too good to be true, but it's coming next year. And if you buy an EV9, it will be ready with this technology. Now, it seems fanciful, but do you remember when we all had mobile phones and it was 50p a minute to make a call? And now you get it free for £10 a month, as many calls as you like. And that's how it could be with electricity. A little monthly charge and your electricity is free. If you don't want to know the technical details or get bogged down in the menus, then the EV9 will make it really simple. When you get out of the car, you tell it, literally by speaking to it because it's got a voice recognition system, how much charge you want and when you're going to drive the car again. Then it will make sure you have that much charge by that time. That's all you need to do. Then while you're having your dinner, watching Coronation Street or snoozing, all sorts of things will be going on in the background. The car will be talking to your energy company and asking when the best time to charge is. That will usually be in the middle of the night when demand on the grid's lowest. But key to all this is Kia's new charger, which allows the energy to flow two ways into and out of the car's battery. If your house has a sudden spike in demand because you put the telly on at the same time as the kettle, oven and immersion heater, it can borrow a bit of energy from the car's battery without you even noticing. You won't know it's going on. This means you won't be using electricity when it's at its most expensive rate. And as there's less strain on the grid, it will also mean that the generating companies won't have to fire up another coal power station. This EV9 has enough power in the battery to power the average house for five days. So you can take a lot of energy out and still not have to worry about having enough range to get to work the next day. And it will work in power cuts too, of course. Even if you don't have the clever home charger, you can use the EV9's vehicle to load sockets in an emergency. There are two of them, one here inside the boot and one on the outside. You'll have to run an extension cable and it's not nearly as convenient as the vehicle to home system, but it's better than having your freezer defrosting in an emergency. Now that's clever enough, but the next part is even better because you can use the EV9's battery power to feed energy back into the grid. So you're not just powering your house, you're also boiling your neighbor's kettle. And because you're charging at cheap times and discharging when it's expensive, you make a profit on the energy. Ah, well, yes, what you do is you set a minimum acceptable level for the battery charge. So here it's down to 20%, but you can set it to whatever you want. Now that might be enough just to get you to the hospital in an emergency, or maybe to your mum's house if your wife's throwing you out. Yep, every new Kia will have it, starting with the EV9, but only the electric models. It won't be on the plug-in hybrids, and you can't backdate it to go on the older electric cars, I'm afraid. Well, no, actually. According to Kia's boffins, it actually helps the health of the battery, so your warranty will be unaffected. The reason is that batteries don't like being at 100% and then down to zero straight away. So having a little top up now and again and then going down a bit really helps them. Now this idea has been around for a while. It's called vehicle to load or vehicle to grid or vehicle to home, often shortened to V to G or V to H. It's been around since Nissan did it in the earthquakes in Japan, maybe 10 years ago. But the difference with Kia is that the charger unit they use and will bolt to your house runs on AC, which makes it far simpler than the DC units, which other people have used. That means it's gonna be much, much less for you to buy and makes it more practical all round. So we're actually gonna see it next year, way before anybody else does it. 
Well, it's being trialed in Spain first, but I've been promised it will be in the UK by the end of 2024. Kia just has to do a few deals with energy companies to make sure that it's all going to work and be as good as they expect. Good question. It's certainly only designed currently for homeowners, so you'll need to have somewhere to put the charger. But there's no technical reason it shouldn't work. So you could have an on-street charger run by a certain company, you plug in, tell them it's going to be there overnight and agree that they can take some of the energy. As a result, you charge for free. It's a nice idea. So the energy companies are going to really like this because it means they don't have to spend billions upgrading the grid with new power stations or digging up roads, which is great for us all, I think you'll agree. If you think of it like a gardener who's got a water butt to collect water when it's really rainy and then uses it when it's dry, it's the same for the energy companies. They can collect those renewable energies when they're plentiful and then discharge them from the battery, which is the water butt, when there's a lot of demand. It's great for everyone. I get it's a lot to take in and you've probably got lots more questions. So put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them.